very happy to be in front of you once again. We are into our fourth chapter, Breathing for Energy. See the message given in the posture. Breathe deeply, it increases your energy level. Before we move into our topic, we will do some breathing exercises. Hear the instructions properly and do accordingly. Breathe in, hold your breath, breathe out, then relax. Breathe in, hold your breath, breathe out, relax. Repeat this for five times. Can you feel any increase in your energy level? How does the energy level increases when you breathe deeply? Can you make an assumption? Oxygen is very essential for releasing energy from the nutrients that reaches the cell. The respiratory system help in this process. So, in this module, we are going to learn about human respiratory system. Now, let us see the position of respiratory system. Lungs are situated in the thoracic cavity. Lungs are situated in the thoracic cavity. Anatomically, the human body is divided into three. Head, thorax and abdomen. Below neck and above abdomen, it is known as thorax. Lungs is protected dorsally by vertebral column, ventrally by sternum and laterally by ribcage. Lungs is covered by a double layered membrane known as pleura. Double layered membrane known as pleura. The pleural fluid seen in between the membranes reduces the friction between the lungs and the wall of thoracic cavity. I repeat once again. The pleural fluid seen in between the double layered membrane reduces the friction between the lungs and the wall of thoracic cavity. Respiratory tract extends from nostrils to the internal alveoli. Now we will learn in detail about the respiratory tract. Nostrils is the passage through which the air enters in and out of the lungs. Hair and mucous membrane present in the nostrils prevents the entry of dust particles and germs. Nostrils leads to nasal cavity. Nasal cavity, it is a tube which connects the nostrils and the pharynx. It also contains mucous membrane which prevents the entry of dust particles and germs. Nasal cavity opens into pharynx. It is a common place where both digestive system and respiratory system meet each other. In second chapter we have already learnt about epiglottis. Do you remember? Epiglottis closes the respiratory system when the food enters into the esophagus. But during respiration, epiglottis closes the esophagus and air moves into the respiratory tract. Just below the pharynx, there is a muscular structure known as larynx. When the air passes through the muscular structure, it vibrates and produces sound. So, it is known as sound box. 
larynx it is known as sound box just below the larynx is a long tube which is made up of c shaped cartilaginous rings and that is known as trachea in lower classes you have learned another name it is wind pipe trachea is also known as wind pipe the cartilaginous rings present on the trachea helps to remain open always the mucus glands are present throughout the wall of trachea it secretes mucus which prevents the entry of dust particles and germs before entering into the lungs trachea divides into two and it is known as bronchi bronchi it is singular bronchus it is plural it is also made up of bronchial cartilaginous rings then bronchi enters into the lungs and divides into minute branches known as bronchioles known as bronchioles at the tip of the bronchioles there are numerous air sacs known as alveoli delicate air sacs which are elastic in nature known as alveoli they are covered by numerous blood capillaries so it provides site for exchange of respiratory gases site for exchange of respiratory gases there are some specialized cells in alveoli known as macrophages macrophages they destroy the dust and germs that enter into the lungs one of the most exciting fact about lungs is that the surface area of both the lungs is about 70 square meters it is almost equivalent to the size of a tennis court imagine your size of your lungs if all the alveoli expands fully the size of the lungs will be almost about the size of a tennis court interesting isn't it just below the lungs there is a muscular wall which separates thoracic and abdominal cavity and that is known as diaphragm that is known as diaphragm now let us see the passage of air through the respiratory tract the air enters through nostrils and reaches the nasal cavity from there it reaches the pharynx and then reaches the trachea and through bronchi it enters into the lungs then bronchioles and reaches the alveoli i hope it is clear for you